Now moving on on the show. Let's start off the show with some uh, another interesting transfer story on the show today. Monday gift. I don't know if you saw that news. She's secured a move to UD Tenerife in Spain. That's a Spanish women's tough flight yeah. in Spain. I mean, this 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 is a girl who I, I think we all expected this at some point. And uh, her career growth, her career development has been massive for everyone to see. From FC Robo, you know, to Bayesa Queens, where she won the Nigerian Women's Football League High School Squad last season and they won the championship. She got her first competition with the Super Falcons uh, at the recently concluded Women's African Cup of Nations. And now she was securing her first move abroad to play in Spain. What can you say about Money Gifts? Remember, she's part of the squad now in the USA to take on the USA Women's National Team. What can you say about the career progression of Monday Gift from where she's come and where she's been right now? Uh, enough cannot be said about uh, how she's grown in leaps and in bounds. But beyond that, uh, we should also say uh, kudos to the two previous people that have represented Nigeria in the uh, Spanish Women Football League uh, in the way and manner that they've represented us and the way they put out great performance. Yeah. Because it is easy uh, to say, go back to where you get the Asisa Toshola, the Rashida Ajibade, and these three are all products of FC Robo. FC Robo owners deserve all of the accolade, the applause, and even award, if there is any award for uh football development lifetime award achievement award and all those stuff but that said monday gift is it's easy to make progress anyway when you see people ahead of you that have succeeded from where you're coming from uh, that's one but then she's got the athleticism she's got the the drive the ambition the desire to play and she's also shown that she can be a team player even when the people on the field she does know how have the conviction that she can do better than these people and she's not being given the time she can be patient like we saw with randy wardrum randy wardrum does not look like a coach who trusted Monday gift enough to give her the opportunity but she be there at time i'm sure now that she's gone to europe uh she will get more playing time if randy wardrum still continue i don't want to talk about randy wardrum today anyway <laughs> let's focus on Monday gift but it's congratulations to her and a well-deserved move this is the kind of move you you really say okay good it's also you know speak good of uh the progression system in nigerian football playing from a team like fc robo you know local football as, yeah. as we'll call it in lagos state lagos state fa cup winning the lagos state fa cup uh going through the ranks going to the uh the national women league playing for Bayesa queens winning the league again you know if she had not traveled she would have gone for the champions league that Bayesa queens have also qualified for uh, a path is actually paved with gold but that gold was made out of serious hard work grind and consistency and fc robo you know we can't mention this at this footballers without mentioning fc robo fc robo already have uh esther yenezede again yeah. and waiting on the wings exactly. to take over from assisat um arashida tajibade and monday gift they just seem to know how to do this thing and do it very well um you know we captured our in the finals of the FA Cup, where the you know she came in in the second half, where they mesmerized and destroyed uh, Dana's Queens, uh, the Dana's ladies, uh, Dana's ladies, you know, came in into that game and they met a superior opposition. Then their men also showed to FC Tasolo what it means to be superior opposition. But congratulations to Money Gift, and uh, I hope that from here on it's going to be higher, higher, higher. Uh, we're not going to be short of contenders for the African F Footballer of the Year for women when um, Rashida, uh, when uh, Asisa Doshola is ready to relinquish it because I still think that she's still got enough in her tank. She's still going to be pumping. She's the Cristiano Ronaldo for women football in Africa. She 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 alone is a combination of Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi. There's no contender to her throne. She just might win the Pichichi next season again and keep it for herself. But when she's ready to drop it, there are Nigerians to hand it over to. You know, I'm talking about her move to Spain. I think she's she's going to find it uh, quite easy to settle in because we have a lot of Nigerian contingents there in Spain talking about the Super Falcons. Rashida Ajibadi is there. And then the weather is similar yeah, too. Similar. Rashida Ajibadi is there. I mean, her, her, cl her close mentor, <laughs> Aziza Oshola, is there as well. You know, uh, the defender, Osin Achiwal, is there as well. Yeah. Rita Chikwilu is there. So quite a number of Super Falcons players are playing in Spain in the Spanish top flight. So for Monday Gift to also go there, I think she can get the needed... Um, talk on that she needs to uh, succeed playing football right there in spain so it's quite an exciting and uh, you know the news broke last night and it gives me joy because this is a this is a lady i i interviewed when she was playing grassroots football i think it was in at uh, agege stadium yeah you know she you could see the design her you could see how she was willing to learn even when she speaks she's not one of those players who i mean the regular nigerian player whenever they speak of it first of they want to thank god first you know this <laughs> you know this god thing they thank god speak, my you know. pastor <laughs> want to thank the governor you know, she's 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 quite intelligent she speaks well and it's good to see her where she is but now. to be very very fair the ladies 
are better with interviews across all our sports the ladies whether it's athletics whether than, it's than basketball the, than the men the men, the men are, <laughs> most of the men are crap man i mean you do interview you you delete it completely like there's nothing to give out to the audience here yeah, yeah talking about money gifts uh, like i said she's she's with the team right there in the usa and i uh, remember the first game it was a mauling for the so for the super falcons <laughs> a phone you phone you money yeah. I mean, yeah, we, we, we have we have we have a lot to, a lot of catching up to do with these teams in europe i mean south africa as well the defending champions i think they, they played brazil twice they considered 10. <laughs> 10 goals against brazil twice the, the first one no nine goals sorry the first one was three nil and the last one it was it two six, days ago yes six, six nil. nil so nine goals against brazil these are the defending champions the world cup is going to be tough and it's going to be the bloody. Super falcons have it's in four already so they played my play drop today. today hello guys i'm dr jamal i'm from ethiopia you are watching leg better tv radio please subscribe hello my name is dr nigam i am from pakistan and you are watching lbt tv radio please subscribe hi my name is abdullah wali i'm from pakistan the number one country in the world in cricket you're watching leg better sports red tv radio please subscribe you are listening to a leg better tv radio